my lemons, my limes, and my oranges. Welcome back to another episode of Amazing Paper. And yes, I know you've already been here a while. You watched this entire time lapse episode of me taking care of this area, making it as big as I needed it to be, doing the thing that I procrastinated on for months, months at a time, and everything like that. But now everything is different because now. We have a cape. You just seen it change. It didn't know that it was not fancy for a moment there. It had to show a regular elytra at first because I hadn't looked at it yet. Wow. Let's take a fly with it. That is amazing. But anyway, we, uh, uh we migrated our account from a Mojang account to a Microsoft account. And I actually did this with two of my accounts <clears throat> because I have three Minecraft accounts for Java. Uh, one of them was made after it was too late to get a Mojang account. So that one will not have a cape, but this account and my original account both have capes now. And I mean, it's probably not going to feel too special because so many people are going to have it. But for right now, it feels amazing to finally have a cape. And I never really went for the Optifine capes because, you know, those, those, you, you, you just, you can just get them. And, but, the, but a Mojang cape feels more special. So as we fly around here, uh... I want to say what my next thing is I want to work on and that is going to be today we are going to build the piece of cloudness that you know, shoots up out of the top of a storm cloud and we're going to make that be a thunder shrine to make it so that way somebody can throw another star over in here and start a thunderstorm it's only it's only reasonable that a thunder cloud should be able to start a thunderstorm don't you think so I'm gonna get some snow for that I'm gonna uh, come over here and just start piling up and and then we'll uh, get that going okay I was just flying around playing with the riptide and uh, this wandering trader appeared in front of my a my storage area he was got a small drift leaf I hope I have emeralds because that is the first time I've seen small drip leaf. I don't even know if anybody else has found any small drip leaf. Where are my emeralds? Oh good, I have, I have, I have lots. Come on, let's get those, let's get those, get those small drip leaves. Don't you dare disappear on me. Please don't be dead. I heard him. Okay. I heard him down there. <laughs> he fa he jumped off of there. He doesn't want to give me the drip leaf. He, he jumped. Tried to die there. Don't you dare die on me, man. Okay, I gotta, gotta find all my stuff real quick and... Oh. Oh man. Give me that. Oh, we could only get 10. I'll have to check with everybody else to see if anybody else had managed to get any drip leaf. But oh my gosh, we finally have drip leaf. I I can I think I can try to implement it into the build that we're working on. Thank you, sir. You get to live by my hand. Your llama, though, he, he kind of turned into leather on his own and when I got on his back. So, can we plant this small drip leaf onto moss? Yes, we can! And now for the first big drip leaf that I know of on the server. Uh, uh oh. 
broke. But I, at least I got it. Why, why did that happen? It, it, it like literally does not. Okay, okay, whatever. We got a pig drip leaf. Come on, farm this. Beautiful. Ah, oh, what a wonderful rainy day. We got we got thirty six drip big drip leaf and a a leafless drip leaf stem which I'm going to leave there because I don't know how that happened and I want it to stay it gives a little variation to to the to area here just move the other thing okay um okay but I better get over there and start adding snow to the top of this and it just stopped raining, so I, I jumped over here just in time to save rockets. But not in time to not sleep. Oh, well, well, we'll work through the night. So we have this area kind of built up a little bit. I kind of want to add a little more detail. Oh, um, I thought about adding bookshelves, but right when I was about to, I just thought, you know what? No, that, that just doesn't sit well with me. So... So we're going to try adding a little bit of stone structure in here. And right here is a yeah, spot where this is where you just throw in your nether star and that will trigger a thunderstorm. And um, I was thinking about building up some stone walls, but I'm, I'm not sure about it. Um, I also want to try adding in in some of the drip leaf that we got and see how that looks so let's see about that and maybe maybe here And okay, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of fitting the theme. And so we'll add another one right here. Uh, we'll grow that up a little bit more. Um, you know what? Maybe. I don't know. What what do you think I should add to this to make it look more um, mythical or magical or, or, and like natural magic, wild magic it, uh, with like the candles being here because I just wanted candles. <laughs> so like a spot in the wild that people found and put up decorations as tribute to the wild magic that they found. Um, let me know what you think I could add here that wouldn't look too weird. Next up I want to clear out this cloud. And so let's pick up all this glow lichen so we don't lose it first. And we'll take care of this old, old uh, smelting area. I think this one has sand. Yes, it had sand in it. All right. And then now we're going to just wipe this area out. We don't need it anymore. Uh, let's not lose these. And we just straight up. Come on. Can we catch it? No, my game lagged. I... Oh, that that was weird, and that kind of I was kind of having a little fun before that decided to lag. Um, two more left to grab up there. Uh, I'm not too worried about the snow. I do already got a lot of the snow platform that. Whoops. Do already have a lot of that snow platform. I'm saved in in the chest next to my 
a nether portal. Let's see here, we say OG cloud blocks. Like I said, uh, cause we're gonna, I don't know, just give, give them a purpose because they served as my base for the early half of the year. And let's catch these now. Caught one. I missed the other. <laughs> I think what we'll do is, is I think now I know what we're gonna do is we're, that area is is sig is still there and everything because it is centered over the end portal, and we're gonna put something there, maybe like a well or something. That was always the plan to have like something that you could jump into and be centered over the end portal and know that you were going to safely land in it in in the end and so we're going to be doing that and then i think right there that you, that that's still there as a representation of where the original platform ended but i think what i want to do with this spot and look, the, originally I was going to put the whale off to the side here, but then I put it up top. But anyway, uh, I think this is a good view of everything we have built, except for, you know, it's out of render distance for the thunderstorm cloud. But hey, if we're if you download the world, then that's going to not be limited to a server render distance. It'll be the computer render distance and you'll be able to see it. It, but it'll uh, help show off the base. It'll be a good entry point for the base, and that's great because I've been I've been struggling, thinking what can I put here. I I feel like I've gotten everything I need, and that should do the trick. Oh, I managed to land here. Hey, let's take this out and be able to swim up it again. <laughs> uh, and we can take off again. I decided in the middle of removing this cloud to go ahead and and put something in that would be removed up somewhere else so now we got that cloud and it is the first cloud that I have built while having the powdered snow necessary to completely hide the lighting so if we fly past that you'll see on all sides it's got no torches, but if I turn on the light overlay, you'll see that it is very lit up. And right here is an example of where we have, well, you can't see it, but okay. Yeah, there's a torch in that one. And, um, most of the other ones have sea lanterns, but that, that particular one had a torch. Almost there too. This is crazy. I can't believe I've, I've gotten this far on a base, you know? Like, have you ever completely finished a vision of your base? It's because, like, all I need to do is put that in there that I mentioned earlier. And I was just thinking about the project down below because I kind of fell. And one other building that we need to make is a cloud that has a super smelter in it because the next step of that, it's gonna take not only a lot of planning, but a lot of glass. And we have a lot of sand. So we gotta turn that into glass and we need a place that it can do that for us. 
So I think I'll, next episode or so, we'll be building my first ever super smelter. Oh, and I caught two axolotls. One, one like cyan and one pink. And they were killing some, they were killing some mobs down here when I fell. One last thing that I decided I wanted to do I is the this the cloud that I cleaned up the original stingray shaped cloud there's lots of it and I'm sure I could probably build something with it but you know what I want to make it just be I don't want to split it up really so I've decided I'm gonna fill this in and whatever I can't fill in, I'm going to leave as a shulker box inside it. So the entire original Stingray Cloud, because, you know, back early season it was shaped like a Stingray. And you can still kind of see that on a map that I have in my a, um, giant present house. Also, it... um. It looked like a stingray, so I want to keep all that snow in one spot. So we're going to do the unthinkable and make a not hollow thing because we can afford it. <laughs> I'm crazy. I I'm just crazy. All right, and we're sealing it up. Here's original Stingray Cloud Shulker Box and the whale sign. And we should have the exact number. Yep, there we go. Oh, uh, hopefully I didn't leave any of this hollow, but I don't think I did. It, uh, I had plenty of snow. But yeah, all of the original cloud in the middle, except for, you know, bits of that. That, that doesn't really count. That That's more of a drop shoot than a cloud platform but all of the original cloud platform is built into this or stored into this and I'm happy I, I'm happy with it oh yeah <laughs>